When you think about the Bible, what do you think of? Do you think about a bunch of laws and rules and regulations that we have to follow? Do you think of a lot of wisdom from this great sage telling us how to live and navigate life? Do you think of some of those great beloved stories that you heard as a kid growing up? Maybe David in his trusty slingshot, or Moses parting the waters of the Red Sea, or Jesus healing the blind man. Do you think about the great message of the gospel, that we have a God who loves us and laid down his life to die for us in order that we might have hope? Well, sometimes we get the idea that the Bible is just a bunch of disconnected stories. They're not related to one another at all. And that's just not true. Really what we find in, in Holy Scripture is God is telling the story of salvation from before creation until finally when Jesus returns. And so over these coming 32 weeks or so, we're gonna be walking together as a congregation to enter into God's great story. We're gonna do it from preaching and teaching up front, but we're also gonna do it as we launch into this book and we begin to read it together. Yeah, so if you've ever set out and said, you know what, this year, I'm gonna read the Bible from cover to cover. Genesis, you're going great. Exodus, wow, exciting times. Leviticus, Numbers, yeah, not so exciting. Even for two guys who had to study it in seminary. And maybe then you peter out, right? The great thing about the story it's actually the Bible, but it's not broken down into chapters and verses. It's broken down to 31 chapters that reads like a story. There's little connecting paragraphs. So all of a sudden, things that before seem disjointed, they're not. They make perfect sense. This is God's story. And what we hope you discover is that you're part of that story. But I love the way that as we go through and we read this together, we're gonna see things connected that we never saw before. And it just makes all of it more powerful to see us as a part of it. As we walk through this series, it's not going to be just something we hear about on a Sunday morning or read in our book, but we're going to be sending out taking it home sheets each week that help you take some of the stuff that you're reading and hearing and go, how does this apply to what's going on in my everyday life? So that those discussions can happen, whether it's in your own head or around the dinner table. So this whole thing kicks off on Sunday, February 11th. That'll be the first message on it. Follow it up by the next week. We're gonna ask you to read chapter one, easily done within a week. And then for 32 weeks, we'll just repeat. You'll have a chance to sort of meditate on it, use some of the questions that have been put together and, and emailed to you. Through it all, I think you're gonna find that your faith is really gonna grow. You're gonna discover God's story is your story. We can't wait to see what God's gonna do in us and among us as we walk through this great story together. I'm really excited about this. I hope that you pick up a book. And here's something else too, for those of you who are winter residents, the great thing now, uh, since we live stream and we have on demand all of our services, when you go back to your summer homes, you can continue on with the story with us and not miss a beat. See you February 11th, Rose and Savior.